Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you like these movies, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified. In this movie, I want to have a quick look at slabs and how slabs connect to walls. If you have a look, I've got a slab with three components. It's got a foundation, it's got a couple of toppings. And the reason for that is that this is a special type of slab. It's known as a, a rib raft slab or a... Um, it's got voids and ribs in it and it also is designed to work with a brick veneer wall now in order to have a brick veneer wall I need to have a set down of 50 millimeters so I've got a component let me just zoom into that I've got my top component here this is a 50 millimeter set down and then I also have this component at the bottom where the pods go to create the ribs and the uh, voids under my slab so just a quick example, if you were to put a shower in this slab, I can just create a rectangle, select the rectangle and my slab. So let's just click there, I'm going to scroll down, clip surface, there it is there. And Vectorworks will allow you to take that out of the entire slab, going all through all the components, or just one of the components. So for example, if I want to have a 50mm set down for a shower, I can easily do that. I could, if I want to, draw around my object with a separation of 140 millimeters this is uh, the amount I need for my wall set down so I go around here and double click that just stops it so I've got a polygon I've got my slab right click and I can choose clip surface and we take that as slab topping and now I have a set down for my brick veneer which is pretty cool I'm just going to have a look at the settings on my slab. This is my slab here. Right click, let's edit that settings. And what we'll find if we look carefully at these, if we look at this topping, this topping is set to be auto bounded to the outer face of my wall core. So when it gets to the edge of my timber frame, that component should stop. Great, let's have a look at this. And let's have a look at this one. So this one is set to auto bounder at the outer face of the wall. So it go right outside to the outside of my bricks. And this should be the same for this one here. So outer face of wall. Okay, so that's important that you get those settings in. Now I want to have a look at my wall styles. So I've got a wall style here for the brick wall. Let's just edit this. And you'll notice that one of these, this is my timber frame, has a tick next to the word core. Now Vectorworks will now recognize that as the core of my wall which means that when I go back to my slab and have a look at my slab style and let's edit that again we've got this object here and it says it stops on the outer face of the wall core that is the outer face of what I've called my timber frame so that should allow me to draw the walls and create the slab and the slab should connect to my walls now that I've got my walls, and I'll just check my walls, you can see here that my walls are actually set down, this leaf of my wall, or this, this brick veneer here, is actually set down 2 inches or 50 millimeters below my frame. So what I'm going to do now is create my slab. So back to my slab tool, select the walls that I want to be bound, enter. And if we look closely, you can see this wall is actually connecting to the second component of my slab. Let's just have a look at that in detail. Click that, pull that back. And here you can see there's my slab goes across. It sets down. I've got a little offset here for my wall. So my timber frame is just offset ever so slightly from my um, slab, or sorry, from my wall. So this is the offset, this object here. This is my um, vapor barrier or my rigid air barrier. And so it's about a five mil offset there. And so you're getting quite a lot of detail if you set these up correctly. Now the other thing I was going to show you is that you can create a series of pods. Now these are actually 1050 each direction minus 1050. That one there and I need to move it because it comes down 300 and across 300 millimeters or 12 inches down 300 there we are and I've got a series of those so I can use my duplicate array and the offset for those is 1200 and 1200 in each direction. There they are. And here I can delete a whole bunch of them. I didn't know how many I needed, so I just created a whole bunch. And just to make it easy, I'm going to delete that whole row. 
uh, that whole row there. I'm just going to use my option key to delete those and my option key here to delete those. So I'm going to now select all of those squares and my slab, right click and I'm going to go clip surface and I can now choose which part I'm taking away from. So if I take them away from the foundation, you can see it's created my little ribs and my voids underneath my slab. So this is a powerful way of using slabs and two-dimensional information to create the 3D shapes that you need. I think that's a really quick way to do it. I think it's really cool. Uh, and don't forget, if I want to put a set down for my shower, I still can. Just draw that area, select that, and my slab, right click, clip surface, and just take it out of the topping at the top. And so now I've got my shower set down. Very quick, pretty easy to use.